Let's talk a little bit about the world that we're living in uh, right now, because it is a, an interesting one, to say the least. You're a global investor. Uh, you see all sorts of crosswinds, I would imagine. As you look around a week that we hear from the Fed, we're looking ahead to, to the G20. How did geopolitics figure into your investment thesis right now? Well, it's, it's complicated. I mean, I think the, the level of disruption that, that might arise by virtue of the direction of, of different sovereign nations about what they intend to do to protect IP. The trade war, of course, is, is on everybody's minds. Um, the element of, of the overall economic policies of, of what is going to happen with central banks. You know, these were fairly stable over the 30-year career I've had in private equity, but they're, they're pretty complicated today. And, and uh, frankly, the valuations that we've seen haven't really incorporated right. some of that complication. Why um, is that? Is it because there's a lot of money out there, John? I think there's a ton of money and yeah. there's a lot of hope. Yeah. Um, and I think generally, you know, even back when I started in private equity in 1989, people talked about the fear of what was going to transpire. But it takes a while before that really to take, take hold and get reset in valuations. Um, so it wasn't until 1991 where we really saw a recession, we really saw uh, the downturn that it actually uh, began to, uh, to be realized in valuation. Um, we saw it in pockets, China, first right. quarter of 2018. Uh, we saw it, obviously, in the fourth quarter last year as well in, in the U.S. Uh, and the rest of the global market. So it's out there. Was that a valuation? Everybody's saying, okay, things are overdone. Or was it a miscue by the Fed? Or was it, what was it? I think there's a lot of short-term orientation okay. to it. But there's enough fear out there. We're 10 years in to the to this cycle. And, and certainly there are these disruptive factors that are out there. Um, so I do think that people do have fear. So when they hear some things that are disruptive, mm. um, I think valuations get reset pretty quickly. And so with that backdrop, are you sitting around with your partners and saying, you know what, we may need to lean into selling things uh, right now or co to continue to sell things? Where's the balance there? Well, first of all, I, I, I believe that the valuations peaked, uh, certainly in the private markets a couple of years ago, because okay. um, the rates have come up to some degree, um, in the US at least. Um, and I do think that the industrial cycle, particularly in auto, for instance, in certain areas of industrials, has reset. Um, and certainly with uh, the public market uh, reset and valuations for, for industrials, we're seeing that in the private markets as well. Hmm. Um, so we're seeing a great deal of industrial pipeline that's coming in to, to, to evaluate. Uh, but it's also tricky because you know, there will be a cycle during our investment horizon. So you need to build that into your investment thesis.